Hello everyone, I'm Kevin, otherwise known as Form BX257, and I'm here to bring you another Vintage G.I. Joe toy review. Today I'm bringing you the massive Headquarters Command Center. One thing you may note is that there's a blooper on the, um, on the list of features this has and it says it has foot, foot pegs to help pose figures. The headquarters came with no foot pegs unfortunately. Now on the surface uh, the headquarters is a very long sort of angular open-ended uh, headquarters um, kind of bland on the surface. So why is it so popular with collectors? And why did it become such an iconic piece of uh, G.I. Joe lore? Well, I'll show you why in just a moment. This is the reason why this thing is so popular. Now the headquarters made a, an incredible diorama set and of course you can add vehicles to it and increase its potential. It doubled the storage and here I have actual file cards in here of about 20 of them and they're relatively flat. Anything more and this thing will probably pop right up. The main, this main section, the heavy equipment supply depot, could separate. And you could put uh, weapons on the corners there. These are, I suppose, uh, rifle racks. These areas are throughways for the figures. Uh, this area right here is actually the only potential area to use as a walkway in and out of the base. Here we have the equipment storage bay. Now as you can see I've put the uh, put, put dock structure in there. Um, this is a little recessed, so larger items are supposed to be able to go in there, but um, things like rock and rolls, machine gun, and uh, snow jobs, skis, they don't really fit in there very well. It's really only meant for uh, the smaller arms. And here we have the motor pool with the only uh, hand activated device on here. Just like the heavy equipment supply depot, 
the motor pool could also be detached completely. Almost like its own separate room. One thing you may note is that uh, this thing has uh, four indents here and that will fit any um, uh, vamp designed uh, chassis. However, there's also this and these two. And it took me a while to figure this out, but those are actually meant for this. I'm not quite sure what Hasbro was thinking um, designing this thing for the ski mobile, but well, there it is. An extra little bit of engineering which is not mentioned on the box, not mentioned in any of the commercials, and not mentioned on the instructions. The helicopter pad is relatively uh, free of any type of molding, so it can accommodate a wide variety of different things, but only the dragonfly, which was uh, probably the biggest uh, uh, helicopter you can put on here, but it'll also accommodate things like the uh, 1984 Skyhawk as well. One interesting thing to note is that this uh, monitor right here is actually a remold of the CRT monitor on the G.I. Joe 1982 HAL. And last but not least we have the stockade. Interestingly enough, if you removed the barred walls, you had an impromptu medical bay instead of a stockade. And that was my review of the Headquarters Command Center. Thank you for viewing, and I'll see you next time with some more G.I. Joe reviews.